Hey everybody, Collector Cousin here, and this is part two of me weighing packs from this Fusion Strike booster box to see if it's weighable. So far, I opened up 18 packs, and the lightest packs contain all of the hits, these three ultra rares and the two hollows over there, and there was actually nothing in the heaviest packs. This is because this set contains two new style code cards, the one with the white border, which weighs more than the one with the black border. So the white border code card weighs 1.64 grams and this is consistent throughout all the white border code cards and the one with the black border weighs less at 1.27 grams so that's almost a 0.4 gram difference so in this booster box the light packs will contain all the hits now i can't guarantee that this will work for all the booster boxes or all the product that you open up because what I noticed when opening up some blisters is the code cards weigh different amounts compared to the code cards inside of this booster box. So it may only work with some booster boxes. But regardless, let's open up the rest of the packs and see if this pattern holds true for the last 18 packs. So let's move these ultra rares to the side here and start weighing these last few packs. So there's a total of 18 here. This first one weighs 22.51 grams, so that's kind of a medium weight pack. Probably doesn't have anything good inside. This one weighs 22.65 grams, very heavy. Most likely has a white code card, 22.50. This one weighs 22.47 grams. This one weighs 22.29 grams, so very light will definitely give me a black code card. 22.41, very light as well. 22.53, probably nothing. 22.68 grams, definitely heavy, will keep sealed. 22.49 grams, 22.60 grams, nothing good inside. 22.51 grams, 22.62 grams. Now I'm also gonna calibrate my scale, make sure it's working correctly, good. If you guys want the scale, the link for it is in the description down below. 22.49 grams, 22.44 grams, I'm gonna consider it light. 22.31 grams, very light. 22.70 grams. 22.46 grams. I'm going to consider that light. I may open up some packs, the lightest ones in this stack here, 22.41 grams. But in total, there are one, two, three, four, five, six really light packs. So in the first half, I got five really light packs and they gave me five hits. In this half, I got six pretty light packs. So let's see if these packs contain the hits. This one weighs 22.42 grams. And we do have a black border code card. And let's see what's inside. We got something good, a Dancer Rainbow Rare. Let's grab a sleeve for this. So, so far the pattern is holding true. Awesome. Let's see what this next light pack brings. 22.47 grams, so it's a little bit heavier. There is a chance it will bring us nothing good, and it's a dud. A white border code card, so no point in going through that. This one weighs 22.30 grams, very light. So I'm gonna open it up, and let's see if it's a hollow or something better. And it's a Chandelure V. I'll sleeve it up later. 22.46 grams. It might give us nothing, but it did give us something. Whoops. We have a black border code card. And inside, do we have anything good? Just a hollow. Hollow Steelix. Next pack weighs in at 22.42 grams. And we have a black border code card. Do we have anything good? Nice, our alternate art Sandaconda V. Not the best one, not the best centering, but it is an alt. I'm gonna sleeve it up, be very careful with it. 
really good. Okay, and our last light pack. It weighs in at 22.28 grams. Will we get anything good? We do have a chance. We have a black border code card and I have an Inteleon V. All right, so inside this booster box, I have the packs I opened up so far. I got three, six, seven ultra rares and then three hollows. I should have a couple more hits. So now I'm gonna go in and open up some of these packs here that are the lightest ones. 22.50, probably nothing good. 5.2, that's heavier. 5.0, I may open up that one. 5.1, probably gonna keep that one sealed. 4.6, I'm definitely gonna open up that one. 5.0, may open up this one. 5-0, let's open up this one. Let's see what we get, a white code card, so nothing good inside of there. 4-7, so this one may contain something good, and it does. We have another black border code card, and it's just a, or a hollow, not a reverse. Each pack gives you a reverse, and let's see if we'll get anything good out of this pack. Nope. And the final pack that I think I'm gonna open is this one weighing in at 22.51 grams. The rest of them are pretty heavy and we have nothing good. So I have my suspicions that there's nothing really good inside of these packs. So I'm gonna keep them sealed for my sealed collection. And let me recap the pulls that I got out of this booster box containing 36 packs. I didn't open up all of them, but I'm pretty sure these are all the hits which were in the latest packs again. All right, so after weighing this Fusion Strike booster box and opening up the packs inside, I got the following ultra rare pulls. The Serena V, Bolton V, Inteleon V, Cinderace V, and Chandler V. That's a total of five normal V cards. And I got this Rainbow Rare Dancer. And finally, this Alt Art Sandaconda V. So not too bad for Fusion Strike. The pulls aren't that great for this set, so I'm really happy with these. So if you guys like this pack weighing video, be sure to leave a like button down below and subscribe to my channel for more pack weighing videos in the future. Thanks for watching guys. Collector Cousin out.